to Invest Insights. I'm Abby Malone. I'm joined today by Jeffrey Engel, the Chair and President of Conquest Cyber. Jeff, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Well, let's dive in. When you spoke to us for our annual business publication, Invest Miami, you mentioned that your hope was that the industry would generate more solutions to problems instead of individual products for technical challenges. From your perspective, what will need to change in terms of thought process to achieve these comprehensive solutions? And how is your organization helping to achieve this? I think the key is recognition that outcomes are really all that matters. Um, you can have the, the best individual technology, but if you don't think through the entire process of achieving the intended outcome across the, you know, your organization, then we're going to continue to have these, um, these stovepipes that are both generated by, you know, new technological innovation and in industry, um, the kind of process of adoption uh, of those new technologies. And really and that, that triggers the need for more business ownership of the individual technical solutions and the risk that those are intended to address uh, rather than, than outsourcing that to, um, to more technically minded operational level resources. Um, really more ownership at the, at the business risk level is going to be key from a, an organizational standpoint. And then from an industry standpoint, we need to, to start viewing ourselves as partners in an ecosystem approach rather than being something that we're, we're individually trying to hawk our wares you know, to, the, to the buyers and within, within critical infrastructure organizations. Jeff, as cybersecurity becomes a top priority for companies, promoting awareness within working teams about potential threats is essential. What are some creative ways in which companies can design umbrella protocols to mitigate external cyber threats? So I think going through the, the intellectual process of um, a rock drill, as we would call it, um, you know, in my time in the military, or you know, tabletop exercises, being able to take um, the real scenarios that business leaders are concerned with and engage with the operators on how those scenarios would actually play out in the real world from recognition of the issue to the initial response through containment, you know, response and mitigation. Going through that, that exercise collaboratively between business leaders and, and the operational elements of the organization, you're, you're gonna realize that you have a lot more capacity and knowledge than you, you might previously have, have known. And the gaps and capabilities are gonna become really apparent um, rather than just kind of having that hope as, a, as your contingency plan. As the world becomes more technologically driven, a brighter light has been shown upon the need for strong cybersecurity across all business sectors. However, there's still a shortage of cybersecurity professionals. What are some of the unique opportunities and benefits that young professionals should consider when thinking about a career in cybersecurity? But, well, I, I think the broad recognition that we are not going to be able to solve this personnel challenge just by adding additional people to the mix is important. Um, as more you know, previous service industry roles are becoming automated, I mean, th that's a huge opportunity for you know, the younger generation of resources and some retraining of people who have other career fields into cyber is going to be a, a really valuable recognition and it's currently very lucrative. So there are financial and career longevity advantages to, to viewing cyber as a potential career field and, and recognizing that not all roles within technology and cybersecurity are really technical roles that require an engineering or computer science background. A lot of you know my personal experience, some of the things I learned as an emergency manager and as a special operator uh, have added more value to the cybersecurity arena than if I had spent my formative years tracing that technological adva um, advances and trying to secure those. Really coming with that outside perspective from, from other career fields allowed us to, to take those more developed areas of business and apply them uh, to cyber resiliency in ways that you know are are unique and, and enable a greater level of creativity than if you just follow the status quo of the traditional cyber career path. So it's a lot of opportunities there, both financially and you know going into the future to be able to retrain and repurpose resources. 
As we round out our discussion today, how would you define creativity and what does that look like for Conquest Cyber moving forward? So I define creativity as um, applying unique approaches to traditional problems. So I'm a, I'm a big advocate of, of exploring the art of the possible, um, thinking through both what we could do in response to adversaries and what adversaries may potentially do in the future. It, it's really a, an, an intellectually stimulating exercise to, to think through all of the different types of attacks that could happen against our critical infrastructure and then what we could do from all different perspectives, whether it be organizational, regulatory, individual consumers or uh, the cybersecurity industry, you know, when you think about it from all those different perspectives and all of the different scenarios that could play out on the world stage from a cyber risk perspective, it really, you know, it's, it's stimulating exercise and it allows us to, to come up with new and innovative ways of approaching, you know, some of our traditional and conventional problems within cybersecurity. Well, protecting ourselves is so important, and I really enjoyed our discussion today, Jeff. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. That was Jeffrey Engel, the Chair and President of Conquest Cyber. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to hear more CEOs and thought leaders share their opinions and advice on today's business climate. Until next time, I'm Abby Maloney, and this has been Invest Insights. Thanks for tuning in.